legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. These geese are calling a state office complex home, but they're not coexisting very well with the employees who are already there. The geese have charged more than one state worker. Never turn your back on them. Never turn your back. No, no, they can't be aggressive. One woman was even taken to the hospital after she got out of her car, was surprised by a hissing goose, and then fell and hit her head. In an email, the state says its top priority is the safety and well-being of employees. It added, we're also focused on supporting this employee and making sure she has a quick and speedy recovery. They hiss at you. They hiss at you? Yeah, it's sketchy. How'd you feel when that happened? Scare you? Yeah. I'll run. <laughs> Confrontations are not unusual. Hundreds of state workers are encouraged to stay healthy by walking during breaks and lunch. They leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. The St. Francis Wildlife Association says the geese are just trying to protect their nests. Well, I don't think they're trying to scare people, but they're trying to keep them away from their nests. So if somebody has inadvertently walked too close to a nest, the goose is going to tell them, get back. The Department of Health has even issued warnings for state employees, among them, don't make eye contact. The geese are going to remain until the goslings learn to fly. That means it could be a long hot summer until the geese leave this fall, but even then there's a good chance they'll be back next winter. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.